Hey everyone, hope you're all doing well. Uh, today we're gonna be taking a look at the Oz RV from Vola Guitars. So about a month or so ago, someone from the company reached out to me and asked if I would be interested in checking out one of the guitars in the Oz RV series of theirs. You know, I took a look on their site and they look pretty good. So I said, you know, yeah, I'll, I'd love to check one out. And so honestly, I, haven't, I hadn't heard of this guitar brand before they reached out to me. So I think I can hopefully give uh, an unbiased sort of opinion on, on the guitar. Um, so if I remember correctly, they have three different finishes for this guitar. Uh, they sent me the Luminous finish, which actually glows in the dark as well, which is pretty cool. Uh, and looks a lot cooler in person than in photos. But yeah, honestly, I think in general, like for first impressions, I was definitely impressed when I first sat down and played it. I think I in photos, I thought it looked good, but it I didn't think it would be as good uh, as it actually was. So I was just off right off the bat pretty impressed. Um, so in terms of the specs that it actually comes with, it has a mahogany body, a ash top, roasted maple neck. Um, it comes with Godo hardware, so locking tuners and a bridge from Godo as well. Um, it has a five-way selector switch. Um, the pickups are all from Vola, so it's their own proprietary pickups. And there's also a switch here that lets you toggle or that lets you split the humbucker between a humbucker and a single coil. Um, and the knobs are pretty straightforward. There's just one volume and, and one tone knob. Um, yeah, so the guitar retails for about 2000 USD, it seems like. So it's not, <laughs> not cheap, <laughs> but it also feels like it's at that price point. It's, it's very well made. Like the finish itself is pretty much spot on. Like I couldn't find any flaws or anything like that. The wood feels incredibly high quality. So it is expensive, but I think it lives up to that price point as well. So, I mean, I think for me, one thing that, that stuck out right away was the neck. So it's not like a metal guitar with a super thin neck. It's, it's actually kind of on the thicker side. Uh, and I think on their site, they say it's a C-shaped neck. So for me, that's, I think the same as like my Stratocaster. So if you've ever played like a modern or classic Strat, it's basically the same as that. But that doesn't actually mean that it's hard to play or anything like that. It's actually very comfortable and easy to play, at least in my opinion. So I really like that. It's very comfortable and like either when you're playing leads or just playing some kind of rhythms, it's comfortable for both, which is pretty sweet. Um, so the other thing that also stuck out to me when I first played it um, was just the wide variety of sounds you can get through the pickups. I wouldn't say this guitar is trying to target a specific genre, it's, I'd say it's actually the opposite. It's super versatile and it can almost play any genre that you want. Like it can do metal, it could do jazz, it could do blues. Um, and the pickups just give you a whole crazy wide spectrum of tones that you can, uh, that you can get with this guitar, which is pretty sweet. I guess if I had to point out maybe one thing I didn't like or didn't love about the guitar, it would probably be the heel counter uh, because it's, pretty thick, I don't know if you can see that on camera. It's kind of just a big square. Um, and so it can, that can make getting up to the highest frets a bit tricky, um, but it's obviously still doable. It's just, you know, maybe if you like a super fast shredder that hits the 20 second fret every second note, uh, it can make access a bit tricky. But I mean, honestly, that's, that's not even a huge deal. It's just kind of, could be a minor inconvenience. Um, yeah, so pretty much what I had planned for this video was uh, I'll just do a bunch of playing. I'll play on some clean tones, I'll play with some more distorted tones, and I'll play on all the different pickups and their configurations. So hopefully you can get um, as good of a sense as possible about what the guitar really sounds like. And then um, at the very end, I'll show you guys what the guitar sounds like in a full mix. So you'll see a recording I did uh, with this guitar and hopefully that gives you sort of the two different impressions of what the guitar sounds like. Um, yeah, so let's get going.
Sweet. So up next, I'll show you guys what the guitar sounds like in a full mix. Um, so the song that I'll be showing is called Life, and it's going to be on my upcoming EP. Um, so basically, I just re-recorded the intro uh, using this guitar, and you'll hear some clean parts, you'll hear some distorted parts, and hopefully that gives you a good sense of what the guitar sounds like um, in a full mix. So yeah, let's hear it. That's all for this video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.